Hey guys, so I have um, deep conditioned my hair with my deep conditioner products that I use, the Pantene Naturals Deep Conditioner, and I use the Shea Moisture Anti-Breakage Mask. And this is the next day. I twisted my hair last night and I put these rods on the end of my hair and um, y'all, I messed up my hair. I think I messed up my hair. When I say I messed up my hair, I mean I think I messed up my curl pattern. And when I say messed up my curl pattern, I noticed when um, I put the deep conditioner in my hair, um, my hair, well, when I wet my hair, it started to curl, to curl up. So I was like, whew, I was happy because I um, realized that I was getting my curls back and didn't like damage my hair to the point to where I did not have my curls. So I was excited about that. So I had my curls, but my curls are not the same curls I had before I used the product. Yes. So when I was looking at my hair, I said, okay, something's not right. So I put the deep conditioner in my hair. Well, first I shampooed. Then I put the deep conditioner in my hair and I let it stay on for over an hour. And then I rinsed my hair. I twisted it up in like three big flat twists. And then I let it stay on and then I rinsed my hair out and I left it in those flat twists. And by the way, the combination of the Pantene deep conditioner and the Shea Moisture Anti-Breakage Mask, my hair was so moisturized. It was ridiculously moist. It was ridiculously moist. So I was excited about those results. So next thing, um, as I took my twist out, um, my flat twist out, I decided that I was going to do this twist out style today. And um, I actually did flat twist throughout. And um, as I was taking the twist down, I moistened, I moisturized my hair with some oil, an oil mixture that I have made, made. And I also um, used my Carol's Daughter's Healthy Hair Butter. All right, put the healthy hair butter in my hair. And I looked at my curl pattern, guys. Now, if you look at my video that I recently posted with Tapered Style, you'll see what my curl pattern is um, before this product. <clears throat> and I will do a video um, after this one. I guess my next style, I'll try to do just a wash and go so you can see how my curl pattern was altered. So, anywho, um, yeah. My curl pattern uh, changed from... I was a, I want to say, and I don't like typing, but I want to say I was maybe a type four because I had a lot, a lot of coils in my hair and I really loved that. I was like, oh my God, I love my hair. But now, <laughs> I got curls in my hair. Yeah, I have like three, like three, type three hair. <laughs> I don't want that. I want what God gave me and I messed it up with a stupid dark and lovely anti-reversion cream serum. So I regret ever using that product and I pray that as I continue to deep condition my hair and, and do different treatments in my hair that my curl pattern will come back to the way it's supposed to be. I know it's not from heat damage because I use three heat protectors at all times and it's all over my head. It's not in a particular area. So I guess I'm going to be wearing twist outs till I get this thing right. So anywho, this is a twist out. And um, I'm just going to take these rods out. Yeah, that one's retarded. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Anywho, I'm just going to take these little rods out and um, see how this turned out. And, you know, my daughter, she was like, oh, that's good, though. Because my curls used to be so tight and, you know, and she was like, oh, that's good. No, it's not good. It's not good at all. I don't want anything else. I want my regular hair the way it is. And, you know, I understand as naturals, you know, sometimes we experiment with things and sometimes we don't get the results that we want. I have to say my hair must not have been meant to be straightened that way because I sure enough did not get the results from the product as I was expecting. So anyway, this is what it looks like right now. Um, I didn't get the results from the product initially. 
So then when I tried to just say, okay, forget it, let me just go on and, and you, you know, try to stretch it without flat ironing anymore. And then I got to the point where I couldn't do anything with my hair without flat ironing it. So yeah, I decided, I said, well, might as well just wet it. Tried to wet it, just wet it, and my hair really did not curl back just from wetting. I had to actually apply product to, to, to make sure. But my curls, you know, I, I did revert back from that product. I don't know if this is heat damage or what, guys. I don't know. I don't know what is wrong with my hair. My hair is awful. And it's all my fault. I blame no one. I don't blame Dark and Lovely. I blame myself. That Dark and Lovely Anti-Reversion Cream is not for 100% Naturals. I don't care what nobody says. I mean, you could use it if you're a transitioner. Like I said, because your ends are already relaxed. I mean, you could try to use it if you're... I put it on my niece hair like I told y'all and her hair is still holding up and it's because her hair is not 100% natural and my crazy self went and tried it on my 100% natural hair and now I have stretch, super stretch curls so I'm hoping uh, the combination of the products and the treatments will help my hair get back to the curl that I had initially because I love my coils love them I didn't see no coils last night guys and it's probably I didn't put any gel on my hair though so maybe if I put some gel on there only thing I had was the oil and the healthy hair butter so we'll see what it looks like when I do the wash and go but from what I saw last night, looks like I had a jerry curl. I don't want no jerry curl. <laughs> I don't want no jerry curl. I want my hair. So, into who? You know what my daughter said my hair looked like? And you might can relate to this. She said it looked like I had heat damage all over. You know how you have your curl is like really loose? That's what she said it looked like. Like I had heat damage all over my head. Because my curls have become that loose. Like heat damage. Like how the curls look when you when you have heat when you have damaged it from heat. And Lord knows how to do that. That's why you're not supposed to be putting all that stuff in your hair. But I learned guys. I learned to be grateful for what I have and I promise y'all, I promise you, if God sees fit to help me get my curl pattern back the way it was, you don't got to worry about me putting nothing else in my hair <laughs> to stretch it, straighten it, nothing. I could have went, I would have did better and I, I thought it was better. I thought it was better to use that product instead of getting a blowout, but as I realized is I got more damage from that than I did from the blowout. Like the blowout, I didn't hardly get any heat damage, so I could have did better with the dang on blowout. And I'm looking at my mirror, guys. Yeah. I try to only get a blowout once a year. Like or my anniversary month. So I was waiting until November to do the blowout and I was just gonna do this, you know, just in the meantime, see what it was like on my hair. And I guess I found out what I was looking to find out. Not good product for 100% natural hair. It will loosen your curl pattern. Now, if you are out there and you are 4F, when I say a full F, I mean, you know how we, we fours got that real tight hair and you can't even see a curl pattern because it's so tight and kinky 
If, if you are one of those persons, you might want to use that product. Because you might be trying to loosen your hair. That, that might be something you want to do. I don't know. Personally, I'm just giving you, telling you what, what it's going to do to your hair. And what it's going to do to your hair is it is definitely going to loosen the curl pattern. Seriously. Seriously, seriously. So, yeah. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is just add a little water to my sides. And I'm going to use my favorite gel at the moment. I'm going to, it's, sorry, it's black gel. I'm going to try the, they have the clear one. I'm going to try that and see what happens. But into who? I'm just going to add a little bit of gel on my side. So let's push this side back a little bit. Because of the way I twist it, it's kind of leaning back. So. I don't want it to go too far back. It's a little something, something. So, yeah. Alright, so this I guess this is where I'm be rocking the day and these are my results for my flat twists with the rods. I like putting the rods on the end because it gives me a lot more curls of a curly look, more of a curly look. That's what I be going for sometimes. A real curly look. So show you the back. Do round about. Let me do a little round about. Let me do a little round. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Anywho. So, yeah, I just want to pull that thing on just a little bit. So, I mean, I guess I'll be doing this flat twist and stuff for a while, but it's not that bad. We'll see what it looks like when I do the wash and go. So, Thank y'all all for watching this video and remember what I said about that product. Learn from my mistakes. Do not use that product if you're 100% natural because what's going to happen is you're going to loosen your curl pattern. If that is what you want to do, go get that product today. It is $8.99 and I got it from Walgreens. If that is not what you want to do, please do not use that product. Thank y'all for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.